These are your top 10 KHL hits of the week. My name's Steve Dangle. And I'm Andreas Hatchenko. Number 10 goes to Salavat's Igor Mirnov, who stops Ukrainian train on his tracks. Number 9 goes to KHL Rookie of the Year from last year, Dmitry Lugin. Ouch. A little bit. Number 8 goes to another Salavat player, this time it's Alex Stepanov. I don't think they like Ukrainian team too much in Ufa. Number 7 goes to former duck Vitaly Vishnevsky, who takes advantage of Yuri Navani, who's not even looking. Number 6 goes to Kirill Tulukov of Amur Borovsk. He landed quite a few hits in his time in the QMJHL and he's building a portfolio in the KHL for himself with this big hit on Chris Simon. Number 5, Evgeny Rasinski. Artem Anisimov almost avoids the hit, but ugh, not quite. Number 4 goes to Severstal Pakrudin Gimbatov. Also known as Human Staple Gun. Number three, one of the top Russian prospects for the upcoming NHL draft, Valery Nachushkin decides, eh, it's time for a line change, buddy. Number two goes to our regulars, Panzer Kartrug, and uh, yeah, this is why he's a regular around here. Number one, the big man from Kazakhstan, Evgeny Fedeyev. Anyone else feel that? Holy smokes! Hope that wasn't too painful. Those were your top 10 KHL hits of the week. My name's Steve Dangle. And I'm Andreas Hatchin.